Mr. Speck, can you confirm that you are not registered as a voter and that your name doesn't exist on the registered voter at all? That is correct. I am a registered voter on the old registration list. Uh, unfortunately, um, because of the whole work that I am trying to do and assisting my residents and constituents in the Kaya West, doing the transfers and the registration, unfortunately, I mean, I was unable to, to do it. It slipped me. And, but at the end of the day, under the Constitution, Section 57, I mean, I still qualify. And at the end of the day, I can register. But don't you agree that there is a disadvantage or some may say something wrong with a person who is not registered in the division he wants to represent? Not really, not really. I mean, with the work done, I mean, um, it just um, was something that slipped me. I mean, I was unable to do it, and that's all I can say. The intention was there, the intention was there, but with the overwork, I mean, I was assisting my constituents to make sure the transfer period and the registration, I mean, be fulfilled. And that is my obligation as a candidate, to make sure that I put in as much people as I can. But there was a re-registration process. A lot of politicians were taking their people to re-register. How can you forget your own self? As I said, I was busy, and that's all I can say. Yes, you all know that I am not registered.